My name is Craig Anderson. I'm a 38-year-old actor and filmmaker, and I live in Sydney, Australia. And though you probably can't tell by looking at me, I'm a little bit overweight. This is my castle, my fortress of solitude. It's a combination of creative art studio and open plan living space, better known as a warehouse. It's here that I pursue my dream of being a filmmaker. I write, act in and edit a lot of my own material and this is where the magic happens. But being creative isn't easy. It requires stimulation of both the mind and the body. And that's why I start each day with a trip to the local swimming pool. All right, so this is the warehouse where I live. And um, I'm now driving to the local pool slash gym. It's got everything, but uh, most importantly, it has a shower. And my warehouse only has cold water showers. So every few days of my daily routine is to drive to the, uh, the pool and have a shower there. This might seem inconvenient, but it beats a cold shower. Plus, it gets me out of the house, which, let's face it, is pretty much my only exercise for the day. After avoiding weird glances from people who've actually been in the pool, I head home, time for breakfast. Another day, another burger. In a typical week, I'll eat at least four fast food meals. I don't know how much of it's convenience and how much is addiction. I'm not sure I want to know. And when I do cook for myself, it's usually just as bad. I decided to keep a record of my eating habits. It's not pretty. Pizza, burgers, fries, all kinds of sweets and gallons of soda. And that's just in one week. I know how bad this is for me, but I can't seem to stop. I've tried every diet under the sun, but in the end the results are always the same. The diet becomes impractical to maintain and I fall off the wagon. I know I need to change, but I really don't know how. Fortunately, the change I needed found me. Hang on, like the country? Japan the country, yeah. No, I've never been before. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by my friend Tim, a fellow filmmaker. He told me he wanted to make a documentary about the health benefits of the Japanese lifestyle. As someone who grew up in Japan, he knows how different their food culture is compared to the typical Western diet. His idea was this, send someone to Japan for two weeks to learn how the Japanese live and eat. Then have them return home and recreate that lifestyle for a further 10 weeks and see what effect this three-month Japanese diet has on their health. For some reason, he thought of me. Probably because of my good looks. After talking to Tim, I did a little research on Japanese health. I found out that they have some of the lowest rates of obesity and heart disease in the developed world. They also have a very low cancer rate. The weird thing is, they don't seem to skimp on their meals. They're eating all the time, and it's a part of their culture. So how is it a nation that's so devoted to stuffing their faces is amongst the healthiest? What is it about their diet and lifestyle that lets them live such long and healthy lives? I was intrigued. 